Mr. Chairman, uh, I'd like to address the people who may have got a publication in the mail today. This unlabeled, unsigned publication denigrates the entire Polish population in our township. To think someone would attack my family in this way is beyond my comprehension. If you want to print something about me, that's fair. I'm a public servant and I can take it. But you should leave my wife and my handicapped son out of it. As many of you know, I have a severely handicapped child. Something about me, that's fair. I'm a public servant and I can take it. But you should leave my wife and my handicapped son out of it. As many of you know, I have a severely handicapped child. He's now 47 years old. He was diagnosed with a brain tumor at age 13. My wife Rosalie and I decided at that time that we would care for him in our home. We've been doing so for the last 34 years. We certainly could have taken the option of allowing the state to care for him, but we decided to do it ourselves. After my wife Rosalie passed away in 2005, and certainly it could have been directly due to the extra labor that she put in on nursing this, this child, Monica came to my home to help with tennis. I learned to care for this woman and subsequently we got married. To call this Polish lady an illegal immigrant is beyond belief. Monica has spent many years in this country and was married to a hard-working Polish citizen who died from cancer. As a matter of fact, Monica still draws a survivor's pension from his death from the U.S. government. And to label this Polish woman an illegal immigrant is beyond belief. Tonight, I'm not asking for your pity. I'm not asking for your vote. I'm asking for your prayers for Dennis. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mrs. Filer. No, one other thing, Mr. Chairman, excuse me. It's not my dad that the people who put this piece out, in my view, are sitting on this dais tonight. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mrs. Filer. Yes, Mr. Chairman. I'm personally disgusted that someone would put out such garbage. It's clear that they've never met Monica. If they had, they would have seen how much, how much love she puts into taking care of Paul and Dennis. And they would never diminish her role as hired help. After I lost my own mother at age 62, um, which is about the same age as Paul's wife, Rosalie, my dad married Della. I was already married and never thought I'd find a mother in Della. But I did. And I don't think Paul ever expected to find a wife in Monica, but he did. Um, he found her as a wife because obviously of how caring she was and has such a caring spirit. To attack Paul's family, especially his wife and disabled son, with these shameful untruths is just the dirtiest of dirty politics. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Have a great fourth. Mrs. Manzella. Um, 
Yes, I have a. Um, uh, Mr. Chairman, no, excuse no. me, Ms. Manzella, if you will. There's one other piece that was put out by this crew also, and I want to reinforce this statement again. I believe that people who put out this piece of material are sitting on the dais tonight. I just want to make that clear to the people in the audience tonight. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mrs. Manzel. Um, before I begin with my announcement, I, I, I had not, have not seen this particular piece that Mr. Um, Fire speaking <laughs> about at this point, but um, I have seen other pieces, and you know, it's campaign season, and um, I just would like to hope, you know, we live in a great community, as, as Mr. Carabelli stated earlier. Um, when the community comes together for fundraisers, such as for Cassie or for um, the Cancer Society or for Kiwanis, this, this community really comes together. And um, it, it is disenchanting and disheartening to see the negative campaigning that has gone on to this point. There's um, a month left, and I, I hope it, uh, you know, d discontinues. Um, it has not shown shall be in a favorable light and this has been going on for a month now just now not just today so you know keep that in mind everybody running is is really um community minded and and uh try and keep uh optimistic attitude i'm sorry I, I i just have to respond to that i this shouldn't be a debate but i just have to respond that i think that um I think this attack was on a wife and a, and a disabled son in a personal situation and has nothing to do with somebody's record where, when they were on the board or what they've done on the board. I mean, come and get it if someone wants to attack what I've done on the board. But for oh, Pete's I, I sakes, this, leave my this. family alone. And this can't even be compared to anything else that I've seen at all. Okay, so. well, as I said, I have not seen the piece yet, but I agree with you. People's families and right. children um, should be off limits. Thank uh, you. You know, they we, they didn't jump into this fishbowl with us. Absolutely. So I, I agree with you there. Um, the only announcement I had was um, regarding the um, fundraiser coming up. Um, HealthQuest is supporting um, the MISD Autism Program at Sequoia Elementary. And I know the principal was here earlier. I don't know if he has left the room yet. but. Uh, HealthQuest and, the Kiwan and Shelby Daybreakers Kiwanis are uh, getting together to put a golf outing on to f the fundraisers for the Kiwanis Charities as well as the um, MISD room at Sequoia, Sequoia Elementary School. It's Saturday, July 19th. You can register to golf or to sponsor a hole at www.hqpt.com. Thank you. Thank you. We'll Mr. Go Chairman, to one other thing, if I may. Mr. Vire. Uh, I would uh, ask Mrs. Manzella if she would find anything comparable to this that was put out on the Polish community uh, today to please let me see it. I have never seen anything to equal this in the times that I've been running for office. And w what she's referring to, I have no earthly idea. I have not seen any negative campaigning that's been done to date. I've not... Uh, published uttered one word about my opponent in a negative fashion and and I don't intend to uh, but uh, I think I know where it came from and we may hear more about it in the future so uh, I, I would challenge Mrs. Manzella to bring uh, whatever negative campaigning that she knows about to the to, certainly to my attention because this was directed to me and I take a a personal offense to it, uh, not so much for myself, but for my family and, and certainly for the Polish community at large. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.